Good evening, Norman Silverdick, representing the uh, trustees of the trust fund tonight. I'm wearing my other hat. <laughs> uh, as you uh, know, and I've sent you information that was prepared by our investment advisor, the uh, market has been in, to say, turmoil, and uh, over the last week or so, having the largest uh, weekly loss in several years. And our investment dropped by about $700,000 or uh, a little under 3% for that period of time, which compared to a market correction of 10% was, was not as severe. Now, today, the market went up 400 points, so that number is definitely will be reduced. Um, we are long-term investors. We are not short-term investors. We're not traders. We don't get involved with the fear index or the VIX, and we don't come in at the end of the day, which seems to be happening in the marketplace when there's a swoop in between 3.30 and 4 o'clock and the market can flip, which it has as much as 500 points during that period of time from the traders. The principles of our investment have been long-term. We are 60% invested in bonds, and we're holding bonds. In many cases, we bought them directly and not through bond funds, etc. We're holding them to maturity. So no matter what happens, we're going to get paid back our initial uh, investment plus the interest that we're earning. Uh, I can give you a little bit of perspective and I know I, I chatted with Phil just a few seconds before. Uh, we originally, uh, many years ago, we were strictly CDs. And if we had been in that, in that investment mode, we would have gotten wonderful returns over the last eight years of 1%, 2%, maybe, if we were that lucky, because the market uh, interest rates were very low. And by having our investments in securities, We've been able not only to provide a approximately four percent income to the town, but also have hedged against inflation. And in the past year, as far as my understanding, since uh, President Trump was elected, there's been euphoria in the marketplace, and the market has gone up from eighteen thousand to twenty-five thousand in the Dow. And part of that is the anticipation of deregulation on many areas of, uh, of the economy. And secondly, has been the um, anticipation of a tax decrease that was uh, legislated uh, in December. And consequently, the euphoria raised the stock market and right after the beginning of the year, the market went up 2,000 points very swiftly and probably unrealistically. And then when the reports came out that there was a 2.9 percent increase in wages, part of which is coming from legislative increases to minimum wages and corporations with the 20 percent reduction in their corporate <coughs> tax rate paying bonuses to their employees, giving raises to their employees, all these being in the social good, uh, the, uh, the, the bearish folks started thinking about, wow, we're going to have a serious inflation problem with that interest rates will rise, and this negative mentality took over the marketplace, and those who were prospering by the negativity created this disruption in the marketplace. The market works very well when the fundamentals are there, which is strong earnings, continued growth, and that is happening in the marketplace right now with corporations. As they're reporting their earnings, the fundamentals which really drive the market are, are there, so that from a long-term investment point of view, we're doing the right thing. Unfortunately, it has huge uh, upsets on, on a, on a short-term basis. And to the typical individual investor, of which there are many in this community, in the 80 million or so Americans who, uh, or 50 million, whatever the number is, who are invested in mutual funds, et cetera, the, to the individual investors, 
stay the course. Just hang in there with it because the market is volatile. Go up and down. And such will be the case with the Hampton Trust Funds. Over the long term, we're still ahead. Over the past year, a million, something, a million, four or five, we're, we're doing fine. And we still uh, will continue our strategy. I think we'll continue to work for us. And I remain quite optimistic that as long as our fundamentals are strong and it appears to be in all regards that is the case, we'll be fine and we'll recover from this. And, uh, and I realize it causes a lot of heartache to, to people and they see the news and the headlines and the tearing of the hair and the skies falling and all that, but uh, it just, you know, live with it. I live with it every day. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but I think we're fine. If there's any questions, happy to answer them. Other than that, we wish you a great evening. Thank you for coming in. History lesson. Thanks, Norm.